Just a quick note about keyboard shortcuts. Throughout these tutorials I'll sometimes refer to the keyboard shortcut for a certain action as well as the mouse based way of doing it. Learning keyboard shortcuts can take a little bit of time and practice but I, I think it's well worth the effort. You'll find it really speeds up certain tasks and the faster you can do basic operations the less you'll have to interrupt your creative thinking. I'm going to be referring to the default keyboard commands during these tutorials and by and large I've found these pretty well set up and I've had few reasons to change them. However, if you'd like to customize any commands you can do that. Just go to Logic Pro, Preferences and Key Commands or you can hit Alt and K. So here you can change any key command in Logic. There are hundreds of commands that can be assigned or reassigned to keyboard shortcuts and you can browse them by opening these categories up. But you can also do a search. Say I wanted to change the shortcut to toggle the mixer panel. I can do a search for mixer, find the shortcut I'm looking for, and to change the command I'll have to select either learn by key label or learn by key position. Using this first option the number one on the number pad will be treated the same as the number one above the letter Q. With the second option, those two keys will be treated differently based on their position. In practice, I always use learn by key label because I'm a bit dense and I can get confused. I'd advise you to do the same at least to start out with. Then I toggle learn new assignment and the next key command I press will be saved as the shortcut for this function. And that can include modifier keys like command, shift or alt. So I'll change it to shift command X. I'll toggle off learn new assignment and the key command is now changed. I'm going to change it back though because I like this command the way it is. You can export and import entire key command schemes using the options menu up here. If you're going to start making changes to your scheme I'd advise you to make a backup of the original logic one first. Choose export and save it like, as something like original logic. Of course you can import custom key command setups as well, which is really useful if you're planning to work on someone else's computer for whatever reason. Anyway, I thought I'd make you aware of this capability, but I'd advise you to start out using Logic's default shortcuts at first, get a feel for them, and if there's anything you'd like to change down the line, you know how to do that now.